everyone, this is Ann Dixon. I'm an Epic Hair Consultant. Thank you so much for being here at the Back to School Market. If you're watching this and you're catching the replay, make sure you write replay, let me know you're here, and um, listen for a code word if you hear the code word. Write down a P, send me a PM, or actually write it in the chat, and you can win a prize. So, uh, we're gonna demo just for my quick, what time is it? It's almost lunchtime here, so we're gonna demo a salad dressing today, chocolate pudding, and I'm just going to show you some other options. And then I think I might come back at dinner and demo my dinner too. So uh, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is the steamer. So I'm going to talk about this later, but this steamer looks like this. Oops, I put things in the steamer. Okay, so this is the purple Epicure steamer. It's made of food grade silicone. Uh, and it goes in the microwave and oven. And the, the magical thing, it's, I know a few of you guys mentioned that time is an issue, you don't have enough time to cook, this steamer will actually save so much time. You can use it in the microwave, it's safe, and then you can make things like Epicure butter chicken, which can take like 20 minutes with the steamer, the mac and cheese, um, I actually do this one in the stove. Uh, you can make chocolate cupcakes as well, that's another option that's super easy to make. And pulled chicken is in one you could put in the slow cooker or the uh, slow cooker or crock pot. So uh, one thing I like about Epicure is that everything is gluten-free, nut-free. There's no weird additives and preservatives. So a package has come like this. This is the mac and cheese. So you can see in the back it has the ingredients like cheddar cheese flavor, salt, um, mustard flour, onion, it's all things you can read and it comes like this so it's a powder and you still have to add the pasta, the milk and the butter but you can also make it uh, with pizza, pizza flavor, tuna casserole, you can obviously not use milk and use uh, a dairy alternative which we actually have a lot of in the house. Um, so it's a healthier version than like craft dinner. So I like it because it's super easy to make and a great one for back to school. If you have a child that I was, I was gonna say old enough to use, <laughs> old enough, my, my kids are still little, they're four and six. So uh, this one will be a nice one for lunch if you can put in a thermos and they can eat. Uh, the chocolate cupcakes, I also wanted to show you because um, it doesn't have any weird ingredients. I don't bake at all. Like I literally do not bake. Like I don't, I don't know how to bake. Like I, I don't like to follow instructions either. So this one is great for me because it's so easy to make. So. This one you just put in, um, again, it's gluten-free, and you use unsweetened soy or nut milk, apple cider vinegar, uh, and this one is super easy to make. So, the steamer. Okay, and next we're going to demo the chocolate pudding mix. So, I have my bowl here that I'm going to use, and the chocolate pudding mix is extremely easy to make. Um, it looks like this, and the thing I like about it, again, super easy to make. You can buy everything online and digs at epicure.com. It's in the US and Canada. So let's see, it says combined contents of a pouch with two cups of milk. Okay, that's easy. So let's do that right now. Okay, so there you go. So it looks like this, the chocolate powder. It smells delicious. So again, uh, organic cocoa palm sugar, tapioca starch, organic cocoa powder, sea salt. So there's no weird additives or preservatives. And then it says to whisk or beat with the mix on low for two minutes, cover and chill for 10 minutes. And you can also obviously use non-dairy alternatives. I'm gonna use actual milk today for my kids. Uh, I don't like to drink a lot of milk, neither does Andrew. Like I, I have lactose intolerance issues. Not that you need to know all my issues, but <laughs> the great thing about Epicure is if you have any dietary issues, you can easily work around it because we have a huge list of things that we don't have and you can just give me a shout. So, I'm going to get my whisk out because I forgot to do that. Okay, here's my whisk. Um, and this is a cup measure. This is a little one cup serving bowl ep from Epicure. And I'm going to measure out. Do you check out my fancy milk here? And this is how you know I'm Canadian because I have this. If you're American, you don't get milk and egg. Okay, let me pour out the one cup. Oops, that's not one cup. Okay, we're gonna do one cup. I think it's two cups. Oh crap, I just ran out of milk. Yes, two cups. Oh my goodness, so funny. Okay, one sec. Chat amongst yourselves when I get the new bag of milk. <laughs> so, okay, get the new bag of milk here. 
Okay, we're going to measure out another one here. So we want two cups of milk. And I really love these little bowls because not only do they work as a measuring device, um, they're also great for uh, servings, serving sizes to make things like, you know, I can make like one for Ella, one for Benjamin, one for myself. I also, it's good also portion control for me so I don't uh, overeat. And that's my issue with COVID right now is I want to eat with you. <laughs> uh, that's probably too much. But anyway, okay, so we're going to keep whisking it, and this is super easy to make. And I really like this chocolate pudding because not only is it so easy to make, and it's a nice treat for the kids, you can do a lot with it. Like, you can put fruit in it, make little fruit faces, like with strawberries or blueberries, because the blueberries are now in season, which is awesome. Or you can put them in chocolate pudding pots, which I've been doing, a little popsicle mold. So that, I haven't been buying actual popsicles for my kids uh, I just make the chocolate pudding ones okay so there look there it is can you see that yeah you can see it so it's all whisk and this can go in my fridge to set so I'm gonna just leave that aside right now and uh, so Epicure again is gluten-free not free uh, in US and Canada and the great thing is everything is designed to be super easy to make like we want things ridiculously easy Everything is designed to be 20 minutes or less, non-GMO. There's no like weird things in your food, so I love it. Okay, so this, we're going to make some salad dressing. That's that's what I'm actually going to have for lunch. I bought, Andrew and I bought the most ridiculous amount of lettuce, so we're going to make that. So I have a few salad dressings here. And again, salad dressings is one of those things that has a lot of weird ingredients in it. Um, and these ones you can make your own. So this is Italian balsamic vinaigrette, Greek, and this is creamy potato salad. This is actually a seasonal one. This is for potato salad, but I've been using it also for salad dressing. So we're gonna, this is my curate and funnel. Uh, this is something I would never buy on my own, to be honest. Like, I feel like it's a frill. <laughs> a frill in my life from Epicure. Uh, but it actually came in my Epicure business kit. When you sign up to become an Epicure business kit, you get this amazing kit of like $500 worth of of, of stuff of things that you're going to eat and use so this is one of the things that came with it and with a little funnel so i don't spill all over the place so we're gonna let's which one do you want to make today let's do balsamic vinaigrette because it's open okay um and the great thing is when you buy it from epic here so i'm fixing my shirt here uh everything ships to your door to uh, wherever you are in canada and the u.s okay so we're gonna grab my this is the uh, four-in-one preps, prep spoon. That's not what it's called. It's anyways. It's an Epicure spoon, and it has the measurements on here. So it has teaspoon and tablespoon, and it's great because it's designed to fit in the Epicure. Um, what do you call it? In our uh, jars. So oops. Oh wait. Let's okay. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. And again, this is another Epicure bowl. This is a. Uh, I want to say it's a four-cup bowl. So it's great for salads and like great for lunches okay or anything you want so this is what I'm going to measure over here so let's read the instructions together on the side and again all the spices come like this it's going to last you a long long time for this jar um, and let's see it says combine two tablespoons of dressing mix three quarter cups of olive oil do I have a measuring cup yeah and balsamic vinaigrette so I think I have those out okay oops I have the wrong side in okay two tablespoons and the good thing is like sometimes it's too much salad dressing, but I, it can sit there and I can use it again for the next meal because, especially with vinegar, like it's not like it's going to go bad overnight, right? Okay, two tablespoons, so that's in there. Boom, okay. Then I want three quarter, and you can obviously make a smaller portion of this. Three quarter, three fourths, three quarters, yeah, of a cup of olive oil. Okay, there's just my olive oil. This is, I'm so confused because the, the balsamic vinaigrette I bought today um, looks like the olive oil. <laughs> like it's in the same brand and same jar. So I was like, anyways, um, grocery shopping has been uh, interesting, obviously, with COVID. Like before, I, I was used to like going to the grocery store and just buying whatever I needed at that time. But now like, I have to meal plan in advance, which is totally fine. I figure it actually makes everything easier. We have a lot of meal plans um, to make things easier for you. So what was I saying? Three quarter of a cup? Okay. 
today? Oh my gosh, I'm talking to myself. Okay. Three quarter cup olive oil. Okay, let's do it. So again, I feel like this is a lot, but again, this is gonna last a while. You can obviously make a smaller portion. I'm gonna make a big portion here because I'm going to eat it and eat salad all week because I bought a ridiculous amount of greens. I think that's another thing about like buying off the farm. I bought it on online farmer's market and then when it showed up, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so much green. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pour it in here and then I can mix it all up. Where did my lid go to mix it up? Okay, again, so if you're just tuning in, I'm just making my own salad dressing uh, with the Epicure Balsamic Vinaigrette. There's also uh, Greek and Italian. I think there's a Caesar one, which I've actually never used because we never end up eating Caesar salad. Okay, one quarter of a cup balsamic vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Oh, this one is. Okay. So again, I'm just going to save dishes and use the same measuring cup because it's all going in this there one. So yeah, Epicure has, a few, if you need your own meal plans, we have a bunch where you have, it has meal plans for you and all the instructions and then uh, even the grocery list and you can just buy it and then you can change it up, give you instructions like if you're a vegan or vegetarian, obviously um, the chicken, some of the ones like you don't eat chicken, there's other alternatives. So it's great because there's so many different ways to eat it and it really has made my life easier Especially with kids, like, I can already hear Ella downstairs. I don't know if you ever heard her. She was like, ah, I need food. <laughs> so, and for some reason, I was thinking the comments aren't showing up. So if you've asked a question and I haven't seen the comments, I'm so sorry. Okay, so there you go. So let me go closer so you can see the salad dressing. I'll go, um, I obviously have to mix it. Ta-da! That's not very exciting. <laughs> and that's a chocolate pudding. And later today, I think we're going to demo hamburgers because my kids have been asking for hamburgers. <laughs> So we're gonna make my own hamburgers with Epicure's um, burger mix, and I'll show you. With, and I actually have a burger press, so I'm really excited. And for the salad, I also have uh, Epicure has time-saving cookware, obviously as well. So I'm gonna I have these tongs up too. So that's it. I'm gonna go make the rest of the dinner or lunch before my kids freak out and realize they're hungry. <laughs> so uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope that was really helpful. I'm gonna come back live again and show you dinner, but. Epicure really, really is designed to help, especially for back to school meal, your back to school meals right now. It will um, be a game changer. Things will help you. Let me know if you like, if let's say like you have beans and you don't want to cook with it, or you like really want a time saving uh, meal option, or like you just hate cooking and you want something super easy. Just, just give me a shout. And I told you I'd give you a code word. The code word is guacamole. If you if you watched the whole thing and you made it to the end. Guacamole, send me a message with the word guacamole in it. I will uh, enter you in to win, win some, win some fun stuff. Okay, take care. Bye.